in Web 3.0, NFTs. NFTs are the building blocks and so we a free future. Monumental podcast. Hello, everyone. Yeah, welcome to the um, uh, our just uh, our first episode of our show Trap. Uh, you can guys guess in the comments what it means. Um, and we are very excited to uh, have Justin Passetti here with us uh, today as our first guest, and uh, it's a big pleasure for us to to welcome him at, uh, on our show. Hi, Justin. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy. You know how it is. <laughs> Justin Facetti. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Um, and so uh, I'm uh, Shifty Bean, and uh, here with me today hosting King Wasabi. Um, today we're going to talk about... I don't know, on the stream. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just uh, relax as much as you can. Uh, yeah. Today we're going to talk about uh, our favorite things, probably uh, Theta blockchain and uh, NFTs. Um, it's actually like I think, yeah, like it's glad, it's glad, it's great that we we can talk about it now, like because especially like with uh, until like today's T fuel pump the market has been quiet like for so long already like winter it's been cold winter until now and uh, uh now it starts uh, showing some signs of like of uh, living <laughs> uh, so it's yeah it's it's a great feeling but yeah uh, uh the industry has been quiet uh, for a while uh, on theta blockchain as well i think like we had a couple of uh, drops recently like on open theta and uh uh, theta drop, uh, for example, like uh, Dion Warwick. Warwick. Uh, but I think the biggest thing, though, on the on Theta blockchain was outside of the mainstream uh, uh, eyes, like outside of like main public eyes. Uh, it was it was happening in South Korea, like with uh, Samsung NFTs dropping on Theta drop, uh, and how well they are going now and. Uh, uh, like recent tweets from uh, Mitch Liu that he was visiting, uh, like a few articles that he was visiting Korea, uh, like working on uh, offline NFTs now. Uh, Justin, uh, we know that like you are a big researcher of data blockchain, like uh, in your videos and everything. What do you think like about like recent developments uh, in the space? Uh, like, how do you feel about it? Yeah, definitely. Um, oh, um, yeah, I do the research. Um, I'm probably not the, I'll know the gist of what's happening, maybe not too much in the details, you know, but I think it's really cool. Everyone's incorporating things like, you know, online, actually the utility of it, rather just having it now, especially, you know, on us, uh, not only but on open theta. Um, do you guys follow like the theta lens? Yes. Yeah. Oh, the, oh the, the, yeah. The, we do follow theta lens. Yeah. Oh, I think it's cool that they already have the game out. I know um, Creative Symbiotes already has their game too, but they do. I'm not sure if you're in their Discord, but they usually post like videos and things like that also. I have no, I've, I haven't been following create, Creative mm. Symbiotes. Yeah, Theta Lens, uh, they dropped uh, their first NFTs, I think, like a week ago, like eight days ago on open theta and they they've sold like half of their mint so far which is pretty pretty cool i think and they've shown a couple of demos and videos like yeah. i i like i i know we know the creator steph and he's probably the most active active on social media like in telegram twitter uh he was the first who created that nft bot tracker uh that tracks like selling nfts on open theta uh, he's doing like, and that's the thing. I don't think oh, wow. like many, 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 many members of the community know about it, or he gets. I, I, know, I never knew, honestly. I never knew, yeah. like, un un until I actually spoke to him. I was like, "Oh, you're actually the one behind it." It's like, ah. Huh. Yes, exactly. And because I, I had uh, some a few interactions with him, um, like last year, beginning of last year, when. All we had on Theta was just probably the Telegram, Telegram chat, 
where everybody was active and like just waiting for the pump and uh, um, having um, gift parties uh, on the Telegram chat and it was yeah it was great times but we had nothing else there was no theta drop uh there was no open theta obviously like so um back then like he was active there yeah now he came, came up with this great project and he's i think yeah he's definitely the most active on social media and he should be like really uh rewarded for that i think yeah just yeah if those who are listening uh will or will will watch this podcast yeah definitely um spend some time researching that project and uh yeah buy buy those nfts um they they are building great ecosystem uh and maybe uh well wait, wait, are we already getting paid promotions like on our videos that's, uh, that's... no no <laughs> yeah but that's that was a good example of what it is gonna be like <laughs> very little uh, shout out in there yeah. <laughs> yes yes it's gonna be like a bespoke approach to everybody um yeah. Uh, so yeah, but with, with those offline with with those offline NFTs that they are talking about, uh, I'm what's sure. What's offline? Okay, what's an offline NFT? Enlighten me. I think from based on my understanding from the articles I've read, it seems like as long as you have some proof of ownership of the NFT, you can use it in the store. In certain areas, though, it's only I believe based in I believe it's South Korea only. I could be wrong there. Okay. But as long as you show some sort of ownership to it, but then you get a di discount for any kind of certain products. Um, I don't know why they really call it maybe offline. But... Yeah, it's interesting how they like how you can prove an ownership of an NFT like on offline unless you like download the whole blockchain like every now and then. Just yeah, like, but then you if know. you if you download the whole blo like the entire blockchain, can you imagine you know having like you know like a proper book with you? It's like okay. Right. Let me let me just quickly find the page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's gonna it's be. Either, yeah, he's, it's dead. It. he's dead. He's dead. He's got it. it. <laughs> it's real. Yeah, it's gonna be. They will. They will be looking for that block ID, like where when when that NFT was minted. Uh, so yeah, for sure. Uh, it's, it's it's like it's confusing the hell out of me. Like I'm still, like, so it's it's a physical representation of what got digitalized. So basically, like you know, everyone's everyone's discussing you know the the world moving from you know paper contracts, you know, sort of you know having to register in different authorities, moving to digital, something that cannot be faked, something that can easily you know be shown and proven, etc. And now they decided to move back to something. Like I don't get it. Uh, I'm, just, I'm, pretty, I think I'm, pretty, just... I'm pretty sure there is something you know behind the pictures yeah. that we're not getting, but um, it'll be it'll be funny to see you know how it develops uh, in the near future. But yeah, I mean, Theta definitely does some uh, some funny stuff. Uh, so, so some stuff that like a lot of people don't don't get yet. Oh, this is this are, this is this kind of stuff that makes news pretty much, and every guy like every time they make it to the news, it's something big, and that's what I like about Theta, is that they don't just like they don't chase the hype and uh, uh, they're just building. I tweeted about it like recently, like a few days ago, that they just working like on the on network, uh, they building that infrastructure like connections and. Uh, uh yeah they're gonna be like pretty much industry like they, they i'm sure they will be like a main like pillar in the industry like for when it comes to to uh, streaming services like multiverses and yeah with web 3.0 pretty much yeah um uh, what like what do you reckon like with theta like there i i've noticed recently with uh theta that on theta like theta drop and open theta they started going different ways like to what like may, maybe that is i don't know no i don't know if there is some kind of like discussions with them behind the scenes but theta drop mm. started like last year with like small creators like like not small creators but there were like streamers and uh uh, from Theta TV, who uh, dropped their collections, uh, like la I'm talking about, like last year's fall, and uh, 
uh, Secret Pineapple Society, like the creator is not that, that famous. But now they just moved to pretty much uh, uh, only the big names. To say, big CIA. names. Big names. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, they they only do that. But Open Theta, yeah, uh, like uh, Theta Go said here, like he, they go incorporate Open Theta. They are like for the community, like guys like ourselves, like who is not uh, doing, like who doesn't have connections, who wants to do it just for the sake of like creating something bring something to the community like exchange the experience emotions uh, be part of something and do you do you reckon that like this trend this trend will continue uh, or will we see like on theta drop will we see like small players uh again what, what do you think justin um i think currently i feel like with that route right now, I think it's probably going to be like that maybe for a while, my personal opinion, because I feel like the Theta drop is definitely the bigger name, especially it's more, I would like to say, associated more in deeper roots. That's where most of the bigger NFTs are being dropped. Like you guys said, the corporate route, like American Idol, we have Las Vegas, um, and we have Samsung. So like I would like, it may kind of makes sense to me in my own opinion. It's kind of nice to having these kind of like separate groups in a way but hopefully down the road we can kind of incorporate in like like hopefully we have those kind of like fighting games like that's how i see it have the maybe what else can we have like a pathway versus some other type of open data but who knows you know in reality of all things i know that data likes to keep everything you know in a tight-knit community so how about what do you guys think um, I mean, it's 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 tricky because, like, all, obviously, you know, from from the creative perspective, um, like, I wouldn't I wouldn't say like it hurts us because it's you know it's always a matter of you know what we actually want to do with our project, like how we how we see it fit, uh, like within the community. Uh, but in terms of like it, w w what really puzzles me is where are they actually going with it in terms of you know the big picture. Are they actually trying to go corporate in order to bring some attention to it? And then they would allow, you know, open sea like approach. Um, mm -hmm. Or are they actually going to be, you know, as centralized as they are at the moment? And they will be, you know, picking like a handful of, uh, you know, community driven projects, you know, from some of the members that perhaps they know personally. And that's mm -hmm. how you know, and that's how they will they'll be doing in the future. Because, I mean, any any of the two like possibilities, they they're still good. But the question is, how is it going to affect the community, and how is it going to affect uh, you know the, the the consumer of those? Because like obviously it is it is good if they bring like all all of the big names, all of the you know the the uh, sort of you know the the, the corporate stuff. Um, but again, with those companies. That they partnered up with would they actually you know continue supporting their projects because honestly we've seen the same thing with katie perry right it was a huge hype everyone's like oh my god you know there's like a celebrity coming mm -hmm. um i still have that lion uh with the number 11 11 and not you know like not not from like an nft flipping side but like they're literally not selling nobody cares about them and like it has nothing to do, you know, with with Theta itself. You know, a lot. I know a lot of people, like a lot of members, or like within the community, they're complaining about, you know, Katy Perry's team not doing, uh, you know, their due diligence in terms of, you know, marketing and, you know, driving that hype, driving the, uh, you know, the followers of Katy Perry to the platform. But then on the other hand, you know, is there something that Theta can actually offer them at the moment? Yeah. Um, I was hoping for more too, especially with the celebrity ones. I yeah. feel like uh, I feel like people now who are in the crypto space are you know more familiar with it, kind of understand that even though a celebrity's tagged to something, it doesn't necessarily mean you know it's gonna go that far. I'm hoping you know I'm wrong with that. I'm hoping I'm wrong, especially with the Katy Perry one. Maybe she could drop something like how uh, Dion Warwick dropped some sort of music, like on that somehow in the near future. But yeah, I still hold mine also. I was hoping there'd be a little more to it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, they, they, they always keep saying, you know, more is coming, more is coming. But, like, at the moment, right. from, from, from what I see, you know, 
you would buy one, you would buy two. There, I'm currently looking at her collection. So there, there, there are five different mm. NFTs that you can buy from Katy Perry. And I think they're looking to have season three, if I'm not mistaken. I think I saw it somewhere like on the news. But the question yeah. is like, what, what, like, what does it do? Like right. obviously, you know, there is there, there was that one cool, uh, you know, collectible uh, like the the redeemable NFT of that huge lion that she had in like one of her video clips. Uh, you know, it's cool, but at the same time, it's the same thing as you know, just auctioning on I don't know, like eBay, right? Right. You could auction on eBay to say, you know, this is you know the genuine Katy Perry uh, golden lion, you know, from that video, and you know, some people would be happy to buy it, and perhaps. You know, they, they they would actually get a lot more money because more people would actually know about it, as opposed to having it, you know, in that niche community of, you know, you get crypto, and then you get, you know, NFT, and then you get Theta. Um, so in terms of, yeah, I mean that's that that's kind of that's kind of tricky. Um, and also, the thing is, I'm I'm like I do understand that they're mostly focusing on the U.S. communities at the moment. Um, mm-hmm. Because honestly, you know, the price is right. Like whenever I saw that drop, I was like, what the hell is it? Is this some table game? And I was like, wait, what? 50, 50, what? 50 years. I was like, 50 years of what? And then actually I had to do, you know, some research to start digging. I was like, oh, it's like a television series. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah, it's a yeah. lot actually. It's a lot about like like Dion sure. Warwick. Uh, like I've never heard about her, but when I yeah. read... Uh, when I read about uh, her, like she's actually like a quite like very well known uh, celebrity, and uh, I was actually few, I felt like a little bit embarrassed, like not <laughs> knowing about her, like because how big she is. And uh, it's great uh, that like Theta is bringing, uh, and I think her her drop was actually the best one so far because like of DRM technology used and that it was was like a charity cause as well and how smooth it went uh yeah i i hope they will start bringing theta theta will start bringing more drops like that and uh uh that's the aim because yeah as uh as tony said and i think i'm like i agree with him uh in this that my main concern would be that big players will just uh like those companies they're huge and for i'm sure there is like a small 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 department i I hope it's not like that it's not true but there is a small department working on like nft projects like that and they just do it and maybe like uh in 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 the few months like those people will work elsewhere and there will be new people like take over those projects or forget about it completely you know and like there will be no engagement in the community with the community like so you no, mean the current one's gonna, no gonna get perks <laughs> no i mean yeah. i don't I, I didn't say that but i mean like <laughs> they can just you know it, it they the those thing the things things like that can get lost like in the in the like bureaucracy and uh, in the kind in the big companies like that pretty much so uh, let's like yeah let's have fingers crossed and just ho- hope that yeah like and if the 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 interest is real there like but that's why i said like south korea looks really promising now really promising yeah. samsung uh they did a great job and it, uh they continue doing this uh i mean south, yeah, south like korea, south constant korea is use. quite big it's quite big in terms of nfts as well like as far as i know yes yeah, yeah from quite, i understand too yeah yeah although they're quite strict on crypto and everything but uh nfts wise nfts wise yeah they're they're good uh they're very positive about it uh so yeah no it's 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 looking positive in that sense um uh, justin are Why? you right, let, yeah. me, let, let me let me let me ask ahead. like uh, more or less um I'll, I'll be the bad cop i think um yeah i'll be the bad cop <laughs> so let, <laughs> let, 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 let me let me ask this question so um what do you think about theta blockchain in general uh and its place within like you know the, the the entire web3 and you know amongst like all, all other blockchains because at the moment the only blockchain you really hear about is ethereum you know you yep. get like solana avalanche uh you know like the 
like the regular few, but then you don't you don't hear about Theta like as often. And like we do talk to quite a lot of projects and creators from other blockchains. Mm -hmm. You barely find a person who would say, "Oh, okay, I think I've heard about it." Uh, yeah, for especially. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Finish up. Yeah, and I was I was I was just gonna clarify that like. Even even though some some might have heard about it, most of the people would be like, "Oh, is that like the competitor to YouTube?" Like those are the guys that are like trying to build their own YouTube like on blockchain. Is that right? So what do you what do you think about you know Theta's um, place within you know other blockchains at the moment? Um, in terms of like popularity, yeah, I agree. Definitely not um, in the same realm as other one. Like you said, the ones that you mentioned. Um, and here in Chicago, at least, um, there's some sort of crypto event. I'm not sure how it is over there for you guys, if there's any, you know, kind of starting up. I feel like nowadays in the United States, at least there's a few in Miami and there's a couple in Chicago. But going back, yeah, Theta is definitely not popular, I would say, I like at all. Um, I'll try to explain it here and there, but people kind of kind of shrug it off. Don't really maybe want to take an interest to it. Um, maybe just because, you know, first, it's not really, no one really knows what it is. I'm, I'm the only one that's talking about it. But people are trying to focus on theirs, and I know Solana recently has a, like a bigger, you know, issue recently. Another hacking yeah. where millions of people are. So in terms of security, I feel like, I feel like Theta. I don't think, from my understanding, the last couple of years there hasn't been any kind of Theta issue like that. Um, someone could call me out if there is. Um, I I'm don't not too think sure there have any, ever been like any issue with Theta blockchain. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, you know, um, in, order, in order to hack, you need to hear about it first, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> well, yeah. So, yeah. Um, maybe that's why I'm thinking about these NFTs, like especially having Katy Perry, just having a face to it. Um, I'm not sure. Have you guys seen the Las Vegas type of ad for it on that? Yeah. I think it was a casino. Yeah. I don't remember which which hotel it was. Which is I huge. Wonder. It's yeah. huge. It's re like it is huge. Resort or something. Let's say, let's say Bellagio, yeah. you know, it's just, no. uh, one, one of those. Fancy I think it's here. like World Las Vegas Resort, something uh, like yeah, that. Yeah, something because, like that. Yeah. yeah. But it was a QR code. It was a big ass QR code. Oh, sorry, I don't know if I can swear here. You can, <laughs> oh, yeah, you can, you can. Yeah. It's, it's okay. crypto. It's decentralized. So okay. like you, whatever. You can say whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> Bring right, it cool. on. There. <laughs> well, yeah, I just feel like with the Katy Perry, just having hopefully having her kind of presence would try to bring more people in. I think that's what they're maybe going forward. Um, just to have the name out. Um, but then with the utility wise, I just feel like there's maybe some legality issues, especially she's an artist. She's very popular. Maybe that's why they couldn't do as much as like Dion Warwick. Yeah, but, but be, I just to, like, to be fair. It, it, like I, I, I just I just no, no, no. Hold on. I just, I just <laughs> thought, like a really funny, a really funny thought in terms of, you know, like not not particularly no, Theta itself. Um, but we'll, we'll we'll definitely come back to Theta. Um, but like NF NFTs in general, right? Like every, every, mm. everyone is talking about, you know, you know, once the like the NFT trend, you know, hits like the you know the like all, all of the streets, all of the cities, people, you know, will get used to them. It's the same, like you mentioned, you know, like a huge QR code, right? So I don't know. Let's say like seven. I, th I think it was like even seven years ago, a QR code, like you know, on on like on a pizza place. That, that was like a weird thing like people barely used hmm. them people had like no idea what it is and like it's it still puzzles me like how do so many possibilities fit like you know within that small square black and white hmm. square you know but like pe pe people got used to it not because it was on some fancy internet technology but because like every single coffee shop started using it right right so as opposed to trying to bring like Katy Perry and like other big names uh, into Theta, you know, being like a representative of like NFT and Web3, would it not be better if Theta instead would actually offer, you know, say Starbucks and like different, you know, <laughs> coffee chains? And, Since like, you mentioned this. Uh, yeah. Since you mentioned this, like I was just gonna mention it, uh, Justin. I don't know if you've seen like there were rumors that Star that run news that Starbucks uh, Starbucks are uh, looking to to get into a Web three uh, mm. space and uh, get into NFTs. And did you see that uh, Andrea, the head of business development uh, for for Theta yeah. Network, she uh, retweet I think tweeted about it as well. 
do you think there is a connection? Like, I don't um, know if you've seen it, yeah. I have not seen it, actually. But with, if uh, Andrea is tweeting something like that, um, I have only messaged her maybe a couple times, but it's interesting, you know. I know yeah, that we you like two, to connect certain uh, dots for sure. Yeah, I know that you Very two fun. like both um, uh, basketball fans. Yeah, you just you you. you... Oh yeah, we kind of like uh, go at each other a little bit. I saw that she was a Warriors fan. I'm from uh, Chicago, of course. Okay. I'm a Chicago yeah, Bulls yeah. fan. But yeah, I don't know. I think that'd be interesting. That'd definitely be of course, you know, Starbucks. You know, and somehow if something works out, that'd be very interesting. That would be maybe huge, that like... could be the next like offline kind of thing. Sorry to interrupt, but that could be maybe that could be the next offline NFT here, like in America, worldwide, wherever they want to start it. Who knows? Yeah, maybe that's why like the news about South Korea came out first. Maybe they are sort of uh, just uh, like as a proof of concept, they're doing something there first, and then uh, want to bring it to to a bigger market in uh, in America uh after that yeah so we'll see exciting exciting uh but yeah but coming, with... back to data, coming back to data. no i want to say something yeah. i want to i no, wanted no, to no. say <laughs> what okay. that's what i wanted to say like that's that's the the good thing about like our team like tony like he came from like a financial and sales background uh and i am uh I used to like I'm an engineer like my background is in engineering and uh, I'm like into like creating stuff always been into building and creating stuff and we like argue with each other like all the time Tony is saying oh where is marketing where is hype like Theta should do something like for now and I'm like no no just let them yeah. be give them time yeah, like they're they they exactly they're building it that just like don't like don't worry about it the time will come like those who wait will be like rewarded for sure <laughs> so i'm like not worried about it at all and i'm happy that like we have like a very you know uh, I, I i'm i'm really i really believe that we have a very bright community like on theta uh like and uh, in NFTs, like we we have so many good, great people, and everybody is so he helpful and uh, welcoming. It just, uh, I would say, it's like more safe than other blockchains when it comes like to like scams and everything like that. Uh, uh, even like even developers, like uh, there there are no like in on Ethereum, Solana. You see, like you try to find like we as creators, like try to look for developers, for example, at first, like a few months, like before we did like Theta Teeth, and we were like people were like on the hype and everything, like giving out, like throwing around prices, like twenty thousand dollars, like to write a smart contract mm -hmm. for NFT, and we were like, wow, that's crazy, but just uh on theta everyone is learning like together and helping each other building something uh together that's uh what i think and this is the result of the actual uh theta network this is uh uh the outcome because i think that everyone is seeing how they're doing stuff uh those who actually believe in it stick around and stick together and also start creating stuff so it's just like a huge huge um i think yeah, it's a, it's a huge potential to like to innovations uh for, for yeah. innovations yeah so um, it's exciting it's just like it's it takes time every like rome wasn't built in a day so it's just i i reckon in three four years everyone will be saying oh like i wish i was in this like that early like these guys uh, yeah, well, sorry. I don't uh, mean to. I, mean, I feel like I'm gonna forget this, but I do want to throw something. I'd like. I think there was like a picture on Twitter. It was about like the Bitcoin event. It was literally like I'm not sure if you guys saw it. It was literally a bunch of people. It looked like a small office space. It was just like water bottle like cases around. There's like pizza, very casual, you know. And now how it is now. So hopefully that's how beta will be, you know. And then going back to the marketing part, um, I think the as long as the partnerships and everyone's they're constantly building and then people see that type of news in my sense that's like kind of free marketing in a way um especially with the most recent samsung and especially in korea um exactly and then yeah the news the news will leak out the news will leak out and in my sense at least you know they're constantly building and long as that's there then i feel pretty good about it and oh, i would like to see more yeah 
true. Like I'm yeah. not, I'm not, I'm not obviously saying that you know fate is not doing anything. Like come on, guys, you know, mm. like Wes and Kyle, you guys should you know uh, do something, <laughs> do something, do it better. Um, obviously, <laughs> you know that's that that's not the case. Um, and w w while you were saying that, I, like another thing popped in my mind. So I think what they did really well is. Like as far as I know, there are not that many marketplaces from you know, like regardless of the blockchain, there are not that many marketplaces that would actually have um, like a fiat processing attached to it. So by allowing people to actually pay for their you know JPEGs with their you know plastic, I think they actually bridged that gap slightly. So I feel I feel like some people definitely went. To buy their first NFT, you know whether it was you know Katy Perry or The Price Is Right or you know any any of the other you know big brands and like CA uh, artists, but I think a lot of people actually went and joined the NFT experience solely based on the you know on the case that they, they can actually use their real money, something they do understand, something you know they they, they hold very dear to themselves. Mm -hmm. And that was their first experience, and you know, so, something because I do, like, especially lately, um, I do tend to do quite a lot of, I won't even call it research, but I do tend to, you know, look at other platforms, other blockchains, other projects, you know, just just to see what's happening around the world. Because, like, with, within Theta community, it's really funny. Most right. of the creators would know each other personally, like, you know, may, maybe not, like, you know. Within like a handshake distance, mm. but definitely you know, mm. uh, like different calls and so all sorts of yeah. collaborations and like different like this like, something like this. And, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So um, it's it's really funny because you sit you sit in this bubble and like all of the ideas and like and especially so, so something that um, Sebastian from uh, the Mystic Gurus, like whenever we mm. talk, we have so many coinciding ideas. It's really funny to 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 see us. It's really, you know, the case of, oh, and, you know, we're thinking, like, no way. We're going to do the same. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, in, in, in that sense, it's, it's really good to look, to look outside, like, at other, other different projects. And so, something that, um, like, I wouldn't say I would probably support it just because, like, I don't, I don't see the, like, the, the real utility. Uh, but there, there was a project, um, what is it called? Right, let me quickly Google it. Uh, there was a project about like we're all women or something like that. Have you guys heard about it? Women in power or something like. Oh that. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah. So, so, something like that. Some something about women, yeah. Oh, powerful um, women, yeah. Justin, have you heard about it? World of women. There we go. Uh, World of women. World yeah. of women. No, yeah. um, I don't think so. Maybe like web women in Web three kind of thing, but I'm not sure if that's the same. Yeah, thing. I think I think Reese with Witherspoon was like a supporter of it. Uh, oh, they had a lot. They had they had, they had like Mila Kunis. They had like a bunch of you know female celebrities, uh, you know, supporting it. So one of the cool things, like it, it it's kind of cool, but at the same time, there is I think there is a really deeper issue uh happening and something i think they failed to realize but like regardless it's 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 a ten thousand piece collection in open sea uh the total volume traded is 70 almost seventy two thousand ethereum at the moment so that's you know mm. quite out there and it's it was definitely like one of those collections that uh you know has been discussed like for quite a while like quite a few months I'm not sure what they're actually doing in terms of their like utilities and their roadmap for the future, but essentially what they did is um, they attracted like a lot of uh, you know female uh, celebrities with just one cause to gather as many you know female followers as possible and to say okay there are not enough you know women present within like Web3 and you know crypto and NFT so we're gonna change that. So what they did, I think, I think they had like two thousand something uh, like real life events, and then literally gave out like a few thousand NFTs to like whoever participated in the in the life event. So like the life event, like the tickets, they were they were not even that expensive, and obviously, you know, for for someone who's never dealt, you know, with crypto, like not 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 even NFTs, but like never even bought any crypto. 
uh, you know, it, it, it was simple. You just turn up, you know, you just listen to some celebrities, you know, you share some wine, you, you know, you have like a few laughs with your, your other peers and then, you know, they help you create your first wallets and then they just send you something there and then you log in at home and you can actually see a picture and you're like, okay, cool, well, I guess it's a picture. But then you see the, the, the value of those pictures actually appreciate and once you start, you know, Googling, okay, what is ETH? Oh, ETH is Ethereum, okay, so how much is it? Oh my God, so it's like, you know, worth 5,000 bucks at the moment. So I, th I think that was a really good approach that they did. Um, yeah, I mean, like like I said, I, I do I do listen to a lot of you know gender politics and you know Jordan Peterson, uh, you know is like one of one of my uh, huge like idols. Uh, so I think there is like a deeper ongoing issue, you know, in terms of like not having enough women within like crypto and NFT. Um, it's not about women, you know, being pushed out of the space. You know, it's not like us men, you know, we collect and like okay, guys, do not let those get in but yeah. like never, never nevertheless like the, the approach of the project i think it was really good and um <clears throat> have you heard of goblin town no i haven't right so Gob goblin town um i'm not i'm not gonna spoil it for you too much but definitely google it um it was a free mint it was the first well it was the first huge project to get free mints so you know, again, for someone who was willing to get like into NFTs, but never actually had the experience, or like, you know, may maybe was sort of struggling to choose a good project and was slightly scared oh, about, you know, wasting money. It was like, you know, it was a great deal. Yeah, you know, like you literally mm -hmm. don't spend in anything, you just mint it and it's yours. Um, and and uh, like, that's, that's, you know, that brings me to the next question. How do you think, like what, what? What do you think would be the best approach for like for the end like NFT industry in general, uh, to you know to spread the word, or is it just something yeah. that where they all have to wait for you know just just to kind of happen slowly? I think that there has in both of those things they have like a common interest. So like as long as people kind of believe in the project, like you know, um, especially with certain movements, especially you know how women like in that project you were mentioning we're becoming more coming together in in my opinion that sense and then the other one like you just said the goblin town it was like for um what you said you were new at the time right you're unaware unsure about which project to really follow and well i i, I just follow sergey honestly pineapples for the win um <laughs> but yeah no i mean i mean it's like for for a lot of newcomers to the NFT space, I think Goblin Town was definitely like you know a win strat. Okay. Just get it for free. I just I just feel like in order for NFTs to be really useful, it has to be like like what's the benefit of me having it? Like the one with Samsung, that kind of on how I'm like like you know rationalizing in my head right now. It's like there has to be some sort of use case, of course like real life use case for more people who are not into NFTs or cryptocurrency right now to kind of get them involved into it. So for, I believe, I don't remember how many, I think it was like a hundred thousand, maybe Samsung users. I believe that that was the tweet, um, those NFTs. So maybe some of them are already in the space in crypto, but now they're more, they're actually adopted into data network because of the phone and the technology that they want. So that already added more hundreds of thousands more people even though that drop was not open to, I would say, the public at the time, because I think it was rec later, it was later drop. It was like random time, too. I don't think it was even an announce. It was just randomly out there, and then people started tweeting it, and then people kind of caught fire. So I don't know. I, I, I did buy like a one or two, one each of each drop, just to see, you know, maybe along the road, it'll be adopted, those offline NFTs in the United States. Um, I do have an iPhone though, so I don't know. Maybe some of my friends who have yeah, Samsung or whatever, I guess uh, we can bargain out there or whoever is out there watching right now on the stream. Maybe we can work something out down the line. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we talk, we talk, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you got stay, you got stay on the stream. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. That's. But yeah, so I think that's probably the best step right now. Just how to get more people involved. If that's, I think that was what question you were asking. I think that's a good step. So, yeah, having definitely. Samsung and then and we also not think about it that you now going back to the other partners, it's kind of got me thinking like all the other partners that we have. We also have like Sony. So how are we going to incorporate that? 
um samsung has tvs i believe so maybe there could be some tv nfts in the near future so yeah, many... with, with i really samsung... don't know what with something, I think. So, so sorry to interrupt you. Just to no, go for it. Yeah, with go for something, it. Something they um, their partnership with Samsung started when they started working like on the potential of like running the edge node on the TV on their TVs. Oh yeah. So yeah, there right. was like beta. They did some. Uh, I don't know if it was alpha or beta uh, beta testing uh, of the of the app. But that's the idea. They want to run run edge nodes on the TV, so I'm sure like they 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 like in, in uh, talks like about that with with Samsung. Uh, so it didn't just start with NFTs for them. I think it started like long before then. Uh, but yeah, like if if all of that like all these things come together like into one ecosystem like with NFTs and every like everything it the, the, this will be huge but the, the true adoption of nfts will be when people will not know that they're using nfts it will it just the technology itself is like so powerful it's just it's it's like a blo like a, a blockchain in general it just uh, removes this you know um uh sort of uh temporary like with like with real like what what we're using now with our like web3 uh, and blockchain technologies are temporary like as long as people know about it as as long as there are like you know records about something uh, this th like it will it a certain thing will like a certain contract or something will be valid but it's so easily like to get it lost like in a fire or over time uh, or something like this but nfts like once they are minted and once there is like an internet once there are computers electricity everything that it will exist forever and mm. be, you can start bringing value like creating value and getting getting this value over generations without risk of losing it uh and that's the the, the, the i think that's the main uh, uh the main idea the main like treasure behind this whole nft nft thing that it's uh timeless pretty much mm -hmm. uh without yeah. expiry date due to whatever reason yeah i can see that um uh, and then i don't know did you wanna i i just saw i'm looking at the chat now on the stream uh i'm not sure i uh this did you want to answer this question about the matroshka project yeah this... it's uh if you want to ask what us is, anything about it, what is it? <laughs> what is yeah, it? so so like whoever's if it's, I think they're still in here. Whoever asked that question is mid tech, I believe. Uh, this yeah, is Matryoshka. So, yeah. yeah, this one's for you since you mentioned it. So uh, might as well go into it. So give a little introduction, guys. Uh, sure we you're just ready for uh, it. we entered uh, this week. We started like uh, we entered a phase like with a uh, with of promotion where we do like active uh tweeting like preparing for the drop and so on september 8th and uh, in the meantime like we are working like because the main like it's it's content based content focused project so the main where idea will be like to deliver content to to our community and the value the main value would be to participate like the owners of matryoshka will be able to participate in the big quest that we mentioned a couple of times that will have a real price at the end once like all the clues and riddles uh, all the all the tasks and riddles are solved and uh, so using and that will be that that is possible because of drm technology theta drm technology so it's very easy to implement something like this but we are working we we are coming up a few other use of uh, with a few other use cases of uh, our nfts like we co want to collaborate with other projects uh like uh, gaming projects where like those nfts uh, will be used as well uh, so it won't be just about our uh, uh like about like about the only use case within our ecosystem but we will go into like uh other um environments uh and uh theta teeth like we we are not forgetting about theta teeth as well uh because we we we're working in behind the scene we're working on staking we want to bring staking to theta teeth owners uh which will generate our own token 
Uh, I'm gonna like I I can't say the name of the token for now. Just like it's provisional. Uh, it's sort of like a work name. Uh, it's gonna be mm. called Light, uh, and uh, it's gonna be used. Uh, the main use case, the first use case of this token will be just to purchase uh, some clues and tips for the big quest. So there will be like additional material that people will be able to buy with that with that token in order like to get some help uh, in when it comes to solving a, a certain riddle or something. Uh, and we we are thinking about a few Web3 apps, uh, dApps, uh, where this token, like, I, I can't, for, for like, for an, for an obvious see, reason, I, see, I can't. See, you, see, you see why it's really bad to ask anything about our projects? Like, he would not stop. Like, <laughs> no. It's like, but what's everything. happening with the Matryoshka job? Well, cool. So, okay, with the Matryoshka, <laughs> we actually have, like, a few plans in mind. Now, Theta Teeth, we're not forgetting about those. Uh, also, hey guys, like don't tell anyone, but we're also <laughs> building a few. <laughs> we have idea, a few ideas for like D apps, uh, and uh, yeah, that those uh, that token is gonna be will be used in in the that in uh, in those apps as well. So um, yeah, just uh, go stay like to uh, follow our Discord, be part of it. Uh, we are always dropping news there. We always try to engage with the with the community as much as we can answer questions and stuff we're just preparing obviously like we are preparing for the drop now and uh preparing we're like a good something up. and yeah and preparing a good foundation like we're for, something up. Yeah. For, for like to 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 bring you the best production like of like for for the content that we're gonna be making uh so yeah we're, we're aiming for that uh, and it's, uh, a, huge, it's yeah. a huge, huge topic, but it's literally like a topic for a separate discussion. And I feel like it's it's not only the case with us, but it's like from from what I see uh, within you know like Ethereum and like other blockchains, uh, you know, Open Sea generally speaking, um, the NFT projects are changing. They're changing big time. Like it's. Mm -hmm. It is ridiculous. Like remember, like remember the very first, like let's let's say the pineapples, right? It all literally started as you know, like just just the PFPs, you know, like yep. the the, pro, the profile JPEGs, and everyone was like, "Yay, we can finally spend you know our T feel on something." You know, so it's the same with the um, with the Theta punks and uh, well, well, rather punks on Theta. Um, and now everyone is like literally thinking about you know some sort of production different utilities you know different use cases how you can apply that you know, different collaborations and that you know is, is obviously pushing the progress like further and it's and, and yeah. it's something that i, I like I, I do believe like even even with like even with theta right with with theta with theta drop itself right the very first, you know, NFTs like like Katy Perry doesn't do anything, and then you get, you know, American Idol. You know, it's it's a like it's a whole gambling thing for you now. So it's it's sort of you know that's I wouldn't say virtual, but it's like you know again it's it's bridging like the reality and the, you know the TV show and you know like the the blockchain experience like all together and you know yep. creating something new. So it's 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 really. It's a whole different topic to discuss, but boy, that is very exciting. Yeah, that is, that that, that they, they, they is crazy, but it's very exciting. Like it's like in, in, you know, like one of those talks. Like I'm not I'm not sure. Uh, like do do you play at all? Like do, do you play games? Like video yeah. games? Yeah, yeah. So like I'm I'm, I'm sure like you're aware of GTA Five and like GTA Online, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Like every, everyone is aware. Like even, even though they've never played it. Uh, but here, here, here's the thing. So the game is, I think it's what, like ten years old now. Yeah, there's a whole bunch. It's a whole series, you know how it nine, is. Nine, nine years, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean they, 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 they do update it, but like regardless, it's, it's, it's a quiet, you know, old game. You have like the new generation of, uh, you know, like uh, GPUs and CPUs and like all of that. So every now and then. 
you know, whenever I watch like some, some videos of, you know, like 4K, 8K, like ultra high setting, like mods, I question myself, like what, like what kind of games, what kind of experience are we going to have in like 10 years, 20 years? Oh, I see. I just feel like in the future with, in terms of video games, NFTs, I just, have you guys ever seen the movie Ready Player One by any chance? Oh, I love it. Yes, of course. I love it. It's, it's, yeah. it's amazing. I, yeah. I, I just feel like that's the route we would go in terms, yeah, I just see it. It just kind of makes sense to me, but it, it helps that you guys seen the movie so you guys understand. Absolutely. This is the future, I, yeah. But you know, you know, you know the funny thing? So, like, that kind of movie, like, it's, I feel like it's an experience, you know, like it's it's a different experience for everyone because the amount of Easter eggs and different references to, you know, yeah. like different games and movies, like they have packed in, you know, like within like certain scenes, it's absolutely absurd. Uh, like you, you literally have to, you know, pause every frame to start looking, okay, oh, this <laughs> is the guy from Doom, this is the guy from that, you know, this is like an Easter egg to Mario, like stuff like that, it's crazy. But the funny thing is, I was uh, like rewatching some of the scenes um, like a few months ago, maybe like half a year back, and then I started wondering. It's like, okay, cool. So you do get like the VR headsets, and this is certainly where you know Theta blockchain come come in like very big time. Um, but I was thinking, okay, like you have VR headsets, but you need like pretty much like a, you know an empty room to wander around. You know, do those you know still kind of bulky and silly whatever gestures and whatever you can do with it like vr but the question Mm -hmm. is like how can you move around you know you can't really run you can't really you know jump up and down and stuff like that and then i started googling and something that like this is this is like a rabbit hole do not go down there if you start looking into the research that's actually you know out there and like the prototypes for you know like the different like treadmills and different uh, no, you know, like re- Ready Player One style, you know, of movement. Mm-hmm. There, like, I think Razer, uh, like the 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 well, the Razer, the gaming company, they have like a full haptic suit that you could buy already for like VR experience. Yeah, and literally, you spend like fifteen thousand yeah. bucks, and you can like suit up at home. You know, plug yourself with a VR headset, mm. and like. Every single shot from your enemies within VR, you actually feel it like on your body. Yeah. So yeah, that's when you were talking about like Ready Player One and having all these like kind of like you know uh, Easter eggs. That's where I thought like maybe these NFTs will be incorporated. Going back to like you know Theta in terms of gaming and things like that. So maybe we have all these other projects. Around. They would actually see more profit and more sense from like actually collaborating. Oh uh, yeah, I, I agree. I think that's where that's probably where MetaChain comes in, right? Later this year, if that's what you're getting at, right? I have no idea where I'm getting at. I'm I'm literally, you know, just speaking out loud because it's 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 something that you know you wonder about. But then again, is the technology there? You know, are you know the the, the uh, like are the parties actually interested in that? Uh, it's it's certainly interesting because I know there are a few projects, like a few NFT based projects. I wouldn't say NFT projects, but NFT-based projects okay. that are actually multi-chain right now. Uh, like, oh, you know, the 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 well, the most known one is Steppen, I would say. Um, the like uh, move to earn that you get, like you you know, you get a shoe, you, you launch to, off your phone. Um, so they actually have the exact same, you know, er- everything like built into your like smartphone uh, app. So they have it on three different blockchains at the moment, mm-hmm. and it's the exact same app. You just get one app, and you, you know you switch between the uh, like different blockchains. Um, it's not quite you know multi-chain in terms of like there is not much interaction between you know different like realms as they call it for different blockchains. But I know there are a few projects that are actually trying to bring some like gaming experience, like fight fighter or like even strategy based, uh, like gaming experience based okay. on different warriors that you get from different blockchains, like within the same project. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. So it's under like one big umbrella, like it's like a you know yeah. like a family tree, like a family yeah, tree yeah, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Funny that you mentioned it. I don't know if you guys watch anime or anything like that. I'm watching one right now. It's called like Sword Art Online. It recently came out on Netflix. And that's what it kind of reminds me of. It's like the whole system, basically what you said, you can jump from game to game and then certain things can be adopted into the next one. Ah, okay. Mm. It, it's, it's, it's certainly something we would recommend to our artist. He's, he's a big fan of uh, anime. Ah, interesting. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, like what? One of the tasks at some point he actually gave us was to watch. Uh, what was it called? Probably uh, Demon Slayer. Arc- Arcane, Arcane. Yeah, Arcane. Yeah. Ar- oh yeah, League of Legends. Yeah, that was good too. That was actually surprisingly really good. Yeah, yeah, it it, it did do well. Uh, yeah, it was a good show. Uh, I quite enjoyed it. All right, guys. Uh, Justin, how are you time wise? Um, I probably got like maybe like a couple more minutes. Um, and then we can probably, yeah, I think call it for me. Um, you guys can stay on, of course, though. But yeah, time wise, I probably have maybe like five minutes. Cool, no, cool. that's cool. We'll, I, th- I think we'll be wrapping up as well, just because you know we're trying to work out that sort of, uh, you know, the golden standard of formats for podcasting. Um, like obviously, you know, yeah. we can go like a lot longer. I'm sure, you know, we can we can go and chat <laughs> for like hours and hours on. But yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, since we, we don't we don't have a video, I replaced myself with my drone. Yeah, I, yeah, that's why I started laughing. I was like, oh, there's a big doll now on the stream. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, just a like... final uh, thing. Yeah, just uh, uh, just a final question, actually. Yeah, that I meant to ask you like uh, maybe 20 minutes ago already. Uh, are you coming to ThetaCon? I am. I will be there. Ah, awesome! <laughs> so, awesome. Are you guys? Uh, are you guys? I I wanted to ask you guys too if you guys will be able to go. I uh, I was I, I was I was gonna go and then I wasn't. Now I am. I think I am again because it was obviously <laughs> like with COVID restrictions and uh, like mm-hmm. you know this uh, vaccination requirements and everything. Uh, it was hard, but now I've heard that they lifted like they lifted the restrictions, so they it's it's not that hard to enter the country now. Uh, just take a few needles in your arm, you'll be fine. So yeah, just yeah. like uh, for me, it's and for for Tony, it's just a paperwork now. So if we manage to yeah. have it sorted for uh, until until then, we we are coming. We we want to go so badly. It just like I'm like, oh, the guys are gonna have fun like <laughs> December second <laughs> until December fourth. Uh, yeah, it's it's just crazy. Yeah, it's uh, I'm just excited to to think about it. It's just uh, it's gonna be great fun. So hopefully, yes, hopefully we we'll, hopefully we'll be there. And we're we're definitely gonna have someone from our team. Though. Ah, well, one of our team okay. members is coming definitely, like hundred percent. Oh, okay. Perfect. So we will be so we will be presented there and uh so but yeah we want to like most of our team like we want to get go, get there uh and uh yeah just uh meet meet everyone face to face uh right no, uh give a give a good friendly hug to everyone and uh yeah <laughs> just uh it will be awesome and uh we're gonna like we we are preparing a few few announcements for ThetaCon as well uh so yes the those who are gonna be there will be will be pleased i hope and uh are you are you planning anything or are you just going there as a, like as a community member or like as a j- journal like journalist like research like data blockchain researcher i'm still trying to figure out like what i would like to do i'm staying about like a vlog kind of experience but then that would be posted you know of course later um personally i probably won't go live i don't think yeah it's the whole point to have it either on data TV, I wouldn't do it on YouTube. If anything, I might do a couple interviews here and there, like, you know, cut those pieces because of other projects. I think that's what I would do most likely. Um, I think I didn't talk to Brian. I, I think I can probably say that I might have a certain area for like meet and greets. If, you know, people who are, you know, that are aware of me, I may have like an area for that. Who knows? It's kind of still up in the air, but yeah, really hoping to see, you know, Hopefully you guys can make it out there and everyone else involved in data. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. For sure, uh, for sure. And uh, um, okay, guys, please, uh, who is still here, could you, in the next minute or two, uh, could you please comment that you're here just like uh, right, like 
Matryoshka or Theta Teeth or uh, yeah, whatever Theta uh, in the chat. Right, <laughs> Theta. Right, right, right. Theta yeah, in the chat. Yeah, if, you, if, you do, <laughs> if you do it in the next minute, I'll, uh, I'll I have something for you. And uh, Justin, um, Justin, yeah, thanks a lot for coming and actually. Uh, uh, I have, yeah, I have something for you. Like, uh, we just, uh, as a part of like Matryoshka uh, project, we would like to present you like a custom, custom Matryoshka uh, NFT uh, as a, as a thank you, like for for being our first guest and uh, supporting us in uh, in our new. Uh, new adventure. in the new adventure that we're exploring yeah so thanks a lot and we will create that like we will get in touch and uh, create that for you uh in in, in the next few weeks before the drop and so uh i have uh and that's it the entries for for um writing theta are over in the comments so mld tech and uh, theta ghost uh they're getting a uh custom theta teeth uh t-shirt that is going to be sent to them huh. uh, that is going to be th sent to them so guys yeah if you could uh, let me know your details uh in discord or text me in discord then uh we will yeah we will get this sorted for you and send out to you by the end of this month and yeah we're just uh, just another, another announcement yeah so we are launching our merch store at the end of by the end of this month as well so with like do you, uh, i can't show my we video want now. reviews we want reviews we want reviews oh, yeah like yep. oh, that's well, i got them <laughs> i got them for you guys <laughs> uh, no, i'm i'm like the thing is i haven't actually he had the opportunity to actually try it on i haven't had the luxury <laughs> of trying it on yet and he was like you know the like luxury feeling that like whenever you buy like a Dolce & Gabbana shirt, you know that like sort of texture? It's that good. I was like, yeah, I it want took, one. Uh, it took me two me months. One. It took me two months to find a good supplier uh, uh, yeah. of the like of the gar of the garments, and I finally found what I like. So it's I hope uh, the community will will enjoy it too. Justin, well, uh, yeah. yeah, thanks a lot, and. Uh, Hopefully, fingers crossed, we will see you face to face on ThetaCon. If not, uh, maybe next year then. But yeah, online we will see you shortly soon, I'm sure. Well, yeah, thank you guys again for having me. I appreciate you know the custom, of course. I really do appreciate. I, that, I did not see that coming. But thank you guys so much again. <laughs> I always love talking to you guys. You guys, you know, good vibes out here. Thank you. Likewise, awesome. uh, always a pleasure. Yeah, talk to you in the future. Likewise, care. and Have thanks again for everyone in the chat, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Or Bye -bye. nighttime, if it's for Tony. <laughs> Have a good night's sleep. <laughs> Take All care. Right. Cool, guys. Bye-bye, everyone. Uh, so, okay, let so... me move this down here from your face and me over here. Uh, yeah, so that was the first episode of Trap. Uh, Theta Ghost when gold ring. Uh, the gold ring is gonna be when. So basically, long story short, we having a Matryoshka drop on the 8th of September. After that, on random day, like we haven't decided yet, but it's gonna be like we will give 24 hours notice. There will be a burn event uh, for Theta Teeth, and after then we will see who who is like a golden hunter diamond hunter we will distribute like uh nfts for them like commemorative nfts like for theta for for golden and diamond hunters we will know like who is entitled to what percentage of the income from uh, madroshka uh, nft drop and we will know who is going to take part in the raffle for the gold ring uh so yeah that's the plan uh so everyone uh, everything should be wrapped by the end of the, uh, by the end of september um uh, and uh yeah but we we had a me i had a meeting with the jewelry last week actually <laughs> the guy was excited about nfts and stuff like uh, it was the say the day after that uh, tiffany cryptopunk news came out 
uh he was like oh i want to get into nfts uh, into nfts and uh like yeah so it's uh are in you a punk yeah, no i'm not a punk like i'm not a punk <laughs> no you should have asked him like oh i want to get into like nft space like are you a punk uh -huh. so yeah but the the like the jeweler showed me the uh 3d print of the ring it looks it looks awesome i'm excited to see it myself i'll see like if uh yeah i i would have bought one for myself but just uh yeah uh i i better give it to to, to one of the members of the community so uh yeah we're gonna have one gold ring got one gold ring for diamond hunter one ring similar same design but no precious precious metals or like diamonds or emeralds just crystals for for gold golden hunters and there will be a few t-shirts as well and there is um 1k like tier 2 sell out giveaways coming as well there will be a few uh merchandise pieces in uh, in that giveaway uh, along with other like other nfts that we've got for you uh so yes yeah, stay tuned and uh, thanks guys for joining us uh and yes. yeah like You're waiting for me to say something yes absolutely i i agree with everything you say um yeah and we're going to be growing this podcast series uh right i'm not gonna spoil about the future like about the future plans it'll be it'll be a surprise when it comes but um yeah we're planning some discussing it with some some of the big guests uh for the future so, so some some you know big stars actually but yeah. we want to like our goal is just uh so just for like for a few who is watching our goal is to we want to <laughs> okay i'm not telling no i was no that's <laughs> no but they're like it's only three people that's why i'm sharing yeah but yeah, yeah. But that's why i said like don't tell we want to try as many like uh to bring as many people as possible from other blockchain as well that's our goal and for us like every this drop if we can bring like uh 30 40 50 people from from other blockchains uh joining open theta started trading nfts on open theta that will be a success for us uh and success like that that will be a great contribution towards uh theta adoption uh so yeah that's uh that's what we are being driven by uh no like it's not like a a big news or something that just uh our yeah i mean the, the idea motivation. is be, like solely focused on theta but also you know blockchain web3 nfts crypto all around uh obviously you know have different collaborations with other blockchains other creators from other blockchains etc cetera, etc cetera, and you know bring the good vibes some fresh news and be educational yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely uh all right guys thanks a lot for joining us tonight and uh we will have another guest for you uh next week um uh, take care and have a good weekend everyone Bye. Enjoy. Bye bye. I just realized my lighting is actually so good. No, it's actually good now. It's it's right. Yeah, now. but like. I, but it's I, going I, from I, from yellow to red. It's going like you know full rainbow. Now. It's going full rainbow like.